everyone, so I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm gonna be sharing my very first Diwali look. I actually wanna do two different Diwali looks this year. I'm really hoping to do three, but I know for a fact that I can do two, and this is the first one using makeup products that I have been loving so much as of recently. Every single product that I use in today's video is super, super complimentary to my skin tone. And I have been reaching for these products over everything else that I have in my collection. And I'm so in love with all of these products. So I can't wait to share them with all of you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So I'm gonna start off with my skin first and then we'll do everything else. So for my foundation today, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match and I'm in the shade Caramel Beige W7. By the way, I'm taking like a good amount of product. But the thing with this foundation is that even if you apply like a bunch of different layers, it looks like second skin. It's so natural looking. I'm gonna just go ahead, take my beauty sponge and press the foundation all over my skin. And you can see it just blends right in. L'Oreal truly has something for everyone and they are one of my favorite drugstore brands because I feel like they're one of the only brands that are super inclusive. They have such a beautiful range of products and their products are incredible. Like I love the Infallible Pro Glow, the Infallible Matte. Okay guys, now on to my second favorite product and this concealer is everything. It's from the drugstore again and trust me, it is so comparable to high-end concealers that I have in my collection and it works beautifully for my skin tone. It's from L'Oreal once again and this is their True Match Concealer and I have the shade Medium and the shade Light. Now the way that I like to use both of these concealers, I'm gonna show you really quick, but if you're close to my skin tone and you want one shade out of the two, I would recommend the shade Medium. But if you like to go a little bit lighter, like I do underneath my eyes, I would recommend the shade Light. And that's what I'm gonna actually start off with today first. So the way that I like to use this concealer is just by creating tiny little dots underneath my eyes. Now this stuff is so pigmented and creamy and blends like a dream, you guys will see, that you don't really need a lot of product. Like I'm actually applying a lot of product, but you really don't even need this much. Now just for the purpose of this video and to show you guys the two different shades, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take medium and apply it right in between the light concealer on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose as well just because I do want to highlight these areas on my face. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how easy these concealers blend out. So again, taking my beauty sponge, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend these out. And I really do like to bring my concealer all the way up by my tear ducts because then this whole entire area gets brightened so beautifully. And you guys can see these just blend out so effortlessly and just like instantly brightens up my entire face. And now we're just gonna go ahead and blend out the medium shade so you guys can see how this works on its own. And again, if you guys are close to my skin tone and you're looking for a concealer that's just like one or two shades lighter than your skin tone, I would recommend medium. Okay, now to set everything in place, my foundation and my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Translucent Powder. And I really love the packaging of this because it has like the little net right here, which makes it really easy to use. Um, I do like to take some product into the actual lid and use it that way. So I'm gonna take a good amount of powder and I always just like to remove any excess on the back of my hand like this and apply the most amount of product underneath my eyes like this. Don't worry about the fact that it gets a little bit messy. It's completely translucent, so um, it's really easy to kind of blend out. But what I'm doing right now is kind of baking underneath my eyes very, very lightly. And then whatever is left on my beauty blender, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use that to set my foundation. Okay, now it's been like, I don't know, like 20 seconds or so, and I'm just gonna go ahead and really press the loose powder in place and quickly blend that out as well. And you can see this does a really, really good job as well to really lift up and brighten up my entire face so beautifully. So everything is all set in place. I do wanna go ahead and use some bronzer to kind of contour my skin because right now my face is looking super, super flat and I just need to add a little bit of dimension to it. 
So this is the bronzer that I have been loving so much right now. This is the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And I love how beautifully it works on my skin tone. It is definitely on the warm side, but it's not too warm at all. Um, so it can be used as a bronzer. I would definitely say this is more like neutral than anything else. I also just wanna say that this bronzer definitely smells like chocolate. It is so crazy. It smells yummy for sure, but I've said this before and I'll say it again. I don't see the point of adding scents in beauty or skincare products because a lot of people are allergic to that. I'm not to most scents. Um, but I know a lot of people are so that to me is just like a total like gimmicky like marketing thing um, But other than that the color is absolutely beautiful. It does smell really yummy uh, But I know not everyone is going to like that I also just want to quickly talk about this little brush because this has been my go-to brush that I've been using for my bronzers and this is from BH Cosmetics. This is number 125 I do think that this was part of a set, but if you can find it individually I highly recommend it if your face shape is like mine because it fits to contour your face so beautifully. Like I've never used a brush this good to contour my face ever in the past. I love it. For my blush today, I'm gonna be using the NARS Holiday Palette. And first of all, the packaging on this is so freaking pretty. It is stunning. Like I cannot stop looking at this thing. And inside you get the Laguna bronzer, which you guys know I love. I didn't use it today because I really, really, really am loving this guy. But this is definitely one of my favorite bronzers in my collection. You get the Orgasm blush and the Orgasm highlight. And you guys already know I love those two. So I thought I would just use this little palette because I feel like this is just the best value from NARS. Um, I've talked about this before, but their holiday sets or their palettes are amazing if you wanna try a variety of Nars' products because you just get so much more for your money. And oh my gosh, I love Nars' Orgasm Blush. It's so stunning on all skin tones. And I love, love, love using it for mine. And I actually am not gonna be using the Nars Orgasm Highlight in this. I'm gonna use another highlight that I have talked about in the past but it is still one of my favorite highlights that I've been using recently. So I wanna just highlight it once again for you guys. And it is the Shiseido Inner Glow Highlight in the shade Solar Haze. Now in the pan, and even in person, this looks very, very peachy and almost like a blush topper. And you can definitely use it that way. But for my skin tone, I actually love it as a highlight. It is so, so, so buildable. And I'm just using a very light hand and not using too much product because I don't want like a crazy blinding highlight right now. But if you did, you can really build this up and it's gonna be super intense. I'm just trying to keep it more on like the, kind of more on the natural side for sure today. Okay, so my face makeup is all done. I'll probably set everything in place in just a few minutes, but I do wanna work on the eyebrows and then the eyes. So for my eyebrow pencil today, I'm gonna to be using Bobbi Brown, and this is their perfectly defined longwear brow pencil in the shade Mahogany. Look how quickly this fills in my brows, and I think that's the reason why I love it more than anything else, because it's just so easy to use, especially if you are a beginner and you don't wanna to spend too much time on your brows, or you maybe like are not used to using an eyebrow pencil. This makes it so easy, so right there i'm just following the natural shape of my brow and i'm just going to extend it out a little bit because my eyebrows are on the shorter side for sure so i do like to extend them out fill in any sparse areas and honestly that's basically it but that was so easy which is why i love this super beginner friendly your brows are going to last all day long and it's just so easy to use Okay, now on to the eye makeup, and I'm really excited to share these products with you guys as well. So the first palette that I'm gonna use is this one right here, again from Too Faced, and this is called the Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like for my skin tone, this is a really, really good palette because of course all of these are warm tones, and you guys know I love, love, love my warm tones. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, this warm brown shade, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in my crease and just really blend it out here. 
So I'm going to build the colors very slowly today because I want a beautiful gradient effect to this look. Now I'm going to really smoke this out by using this shade right here, which is a really nice matte dark brown. And again, you just want to make sure you flick off any of the excess eyeshadow before applying it to the eye. And this shade, I'm really just going to focus in the outer V of my eye. Um, and then just take whatever is left over and bring it forward like so. I'm going to take a clean, fluffy blending brush for my eyeshadow and quickly just blend out the harsh line that I see right there. I just want to focus this brush a little bit in this area and get rid of that line. Okay, now I'm going to walk away from this palette for just a few minutes and use my next favorite eyeshadow and this is by far the coolest looking eyeshadow I've ever used. And and sometimes when I see packaging like this, I'm always like, mm, is it just gimmicky? But this is so practical and beautiful and I freaking love it. And it's from a brand called Kaja Beauty. This is a new K-Beauty brand to Sephora and I'm all for it because almost every product that I've tried from this brand, I really have liked. So basically, this is a little eyeshadow trio and it opens up and you get three shimmery shades. They're all shimmers, which kind of sucks a little bit because I wish there was at least like one matte shade in here because this is just so easy to carry. Uh, but you do only just get the shimmery shades. But let me tell you, these shades are stunning. And use this one right here. And I found the best way to use it is just with my fingers uh, because otherwise you can get a little bit of fallout. So I just like to use this eyeshadow with my finger and apply it where I need to. I don't know why you guys, I struggle so much to apply eyeshadow on this eye whenever I'm using my fingers. It's just so awkward. But anyway, here is the eyeshadow. Um, and I'm kind of frustrated because in my monitor, the shimmer is not as intense as it is in person, but I promise you, in person, the shimmer is beautiful, but not glittery. It's like perfect. I'm actually also gonna take this light pink shade and just apply this in the inner corner of my eyes just to open up my eyes a little bit and look at that shimmer there. You can definitely see more on this one. It's so pretty, I'm in love with these shadows. Okay, now for my eyeliner, and I've talked about this eyeliner many, many, many times before, but this is like the only eyeliner I've been using at the moment. This is from Stila Cosmetics, and this is called the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Lionfish, which is a really nice, deep dark brown and I'm going to apply this in my waterline as well as tight line with this as well. Okay, so I did go ahead and quickly line my eyes using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Liquid Liner. You guys know I'm obsessed with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and I just started using the liner and I'm really, really liking it. If you are a beginner and you're looking to create like that perfect wing liner, this is a great eyeliner to use. But anyway, now I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown shade from the Too Faced palette and just go ahead and smudge out this liner. I have been all about smudging out my liners recently. For some reason, I can no longer just keep my eyeliner like this. I have to go in and smudge it out. So all I'm doing is taking that dark brown shade that I used earlier and just tracing the eyeliner like right on top of it, back and forth with a really, really small brush. And for those of you who are wondering what this brush is, I will tell you, this is the Makeup Forever 208 brush and it is fabulous to smudge out your eyeliner. I am gonna do a full video on how I create this smudgy liner and really go into detail in an upcoming video. That actually might be my second Diwali look, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm just showing you really quickly how I do this technique, which I have been loving so much recently. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in and use the dark purple shimmery shade from Kaja Beauty. And just go ahead and apply that underneath my waterline and smoke up this area really quickly. Now for my mascara, I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. And then I'm gonna also apply some falsies. I'll show you guys which one I end up using because I don't really know right now but I am gonna apply some falsies for today's look as well. Guys, so I'm back with my lashes and everything done. I actually also went ahead and put my outfit on. This outfit is from Holy Chic by Meka. I will insert a picture of it somewhere on the screen. It is so pretty. I actually feel like a princess in this outfit. The jewelry is actually from her team as well. And I love this entire look 
so much. But anyway, I do want to quickly finish off this look. Um, so I'm going to go back in the Too Faced palette one last time. And using this shade right here, I'm going to just apply that underneath my eyebrows like so to quickly just highlight this area. Anytime I wear Indian outfits, I feel like I have to do this step because it just complements the jewelry so beautifully and like puts the whole look together. And now to finish off the lips, I'm actually gonna do a combination, I think, of two lipstick that I have been loving so much recently and these have been on rotations since I've tried them. The first one is the Flush Beauty lipstick in the shade Swollen. I also think you can use this on your cheeks as well, but I'm only going to use this on my lips today. And then I'm also going to go in and use the Kaja Liquid Lipstick in the shade Silk Robe. And this kind of matches my eyes a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lip combo I am living for. But trust me, even on its own, both of these lipsticks are gorgeous. All right, guys, here is the final look, and I love it so much. I love these like cool eyes with the warm outfit. It's not something I would normally do, but I actually think it complements everything so beautifully. And I really, really love every single product that I mentioned in today's video. It has been on rotation in my collection. You guys know as beauty vloggers, we get sent a lot of products, but every single product that I mentioned in today's video has been my go-to as of recently. So if you guys try them out, I know you will love them just as much as I do. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Follow me on all my social media and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.